Hey guys, fishing and stuff. Today, we're installing a depth finder mount. That's awesome. So, stick around. Last week, I made a rod rack on my DIY video. Well, I based this rod rack off of rod racks that I'd seen on Facebook that other people had made. Well, it turns out somebody sells them, and I like to give credit where credit's due. So he contacted me and me and him talked. I ordered one of his depth finder mounts because I really like them and I wanted you guys to see them. The owner and inventor of that rod rack is Colton Howe. Colton Howe has a Facebook page and his company's called Multibar. Multibar. Well, I went and checked them out, and these things are pretty daggum awesome. So, a guy even sent me one of his rod holders and one of his step finder mounts, and we're going to see what they look like. So, I got a package from Colton Howe, and this thing is pretty dang heavy. It weighs a good bit. So, the first thing we need to do is get this thing open. Look how nice this thing is. I mean, he builds these things and he has them powder coated and they look awesome. This right here is for my depth finder and this here's the rod rack which I'm going to show you in a minute. Now Colton has shipped two of his rod racks for $25. It cost me $6 just to ship one of my shirts. So that's not expensive. He's got a video on Facebook to show you how to install them and he's got a lot of pictures of different ways people use them. I would have got me a rod rack, but my boat came with a rod rack. But honestly, I wish I would have knew about these sooner, or it might not have come with a rod rack. I'm just saying. I'm looking at everything that comes with this, and it's all made of aluminum, and it's been powder coated, and it's all pretty dang nice. I think I'm gonna throw the rod holder together real fast, and we'll see what it looks like. put a piece of rubber under it so it wouldn't tear up the rod holder but I gotta tell you man that is freaking awesome I can tell he took a lot of time figuring this design out and after you bolt each side together he's even got set screws in his sort of locked down tighter he's got a video on Facebook where he actually bends a monster rod holder mounted to one of these rod racks. That's freaking awesome. I'm pretty sure that a lot of the guys that watch my channel don't build everything I do because I get a lot of people asking how much I'll charge to build them something and I always tell them I don't build nothing. Between work and YouTube, I don't have time to build and sell stuff. So y'all need to go over to Colton's Facebook page or call the number I leave on the screen and you can get a hold of him and you can order your own rod racks from him. This thing is freaking beautiful. Makes me wish I didn't have a rod rack because it looks good. And it would match my new decal I just put on my boat. And if you're interested in putting a decal on your boat, I got a video about that coming up pretty soon. You know what I'm talking about. I really like this rod rack. It's only about 10 times nicer than the DIY I did. But enough time on the rod rack. We gotta go over there and mount my depth finder holder. That's also gonna match my decal. Gonna look good. So what I'm gonna be mounting on my depth finder mount is a Lowrance Elite 12 that I already had, but I didn't have a mount for it yet. In the bracket for the Lowrance, I can't find any holes lining up. So I'm gonna have to line this block up and drill me some new holes in it. So we got our base ready to screw on to our mount. Found some stainless steel self-tapping screws that I think will fit in here just right. So the first thing we need to do is get this base mounted. Set 
So we got our base mounted. Now we just need to put the rest of it together. I tell you what, this thing's solid as a rock. I was pulling on it and I can't even budge it and I ain't even tighten the set screws. This would be a good option for some of you bass fishing guys because some depth finder mounts are freaking high and these are solid as a rock. Now we need to just throw a depth finder on there and we'll be finished. I like the way it sits up high where I can read it too. But Colton also sells different lengths. I think he sells a four inch. This one here looks like a 12 inch. He sells different sizes so you can get it closer to the floor. Some of you bass guys could buy two of these and mount them like they do in bass boats, a double stack. And I've got it leaning back. You can lean it more towards you from the front of the boat. See, the thing is, it's just totally adjustable. You can turn it any kind of way you want. And that's what makes it awesome. You put it on there and you want to adjust it, it don't take nothing but a couple of turns of a ratchet. That is if you want to. Now I got that finder on my console, and I got that finder on the front of my boat. A lot of catfishmen like to style the depth finder on the back of the boat near the rod rack, but I like to troll. And if I'm in front of the console, sometimes I don't know where I'm at, but I can see my map now. And this rod rack Mr. Howe makes, I'm impressed. All his material is twice as thick as what I used when I made mine. And it wasn't cheap. A lot of you guys don't make stuff, so go over and check out his site, or give him a call, and if you do, tell him fishing and stuff sent you. Is anybody interested in a slightly used CR for rod rack? I'm just saying. Now the rod rack on my boat is a CR rod rack, and I like it. I mean, it's a good rod rack, it's really light. These rod racks, if you order it with the boat, it's like $500. If you don't order it with the boat, it's like $600. So I mean, rod racks ain't cheap. One other thing I forgot to mention is Colton also makes cutting board mounts and they pretty sweet. He makes them where they'll bolt right into the versa track system of any boat or he makes them where they'll bolt onto a flat surface, which is cool for everybody else. Very strong as my new depth finder mount. They're pretty awesome. You know what I need is one of those cutting board mounts and one of those new catfish cutting boards. That will be awesome. Well, I'll leave a link in the description box to Colton's Facebook page, and I'll leave his phone number in there, and you can contact him if you're interested in one of his products. If you've never been on my page before, go check it out, because I got a lot of DIYs that'll help you save some money. And don't forget to subscribe. I appreciate you watching, guys, and I'll see you on the next build.